Artificial intelligence is the future, and the future is now. So here today to talk about AMD's AI initiatives is AMD's president of the Adaptive and Embedded Computing Group, Victor Pang. Victor, thanks so much for joining me today. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. So how important is AMD's AI business, and what level of revenue can be attributed to AI? Uh, AI is uh, one of our strategic pillars going forward. Um, you know, we're in a fantastic time where AI is starting to really proliferate across many different industries. And uh, we are in a position because we participate in all those industries. Now, everybody knows that we do computing and the data center, but now with Xilinx being part of AMD, we also support industrial and healthcare and uh, automobiles and uh, aerospace and so forth. So it's really a perfect time that we are leaning into AI and uh, you know, we'll be proliferating that technology across our product portfolio. And so when it comes to the different industries that AI is benefiting, what would you say is the one that there's uh, the most inroads uh, to be made? You know, there are many industries at this point. Um, it's not just a single one. Of course, everybody's quite familiar with the data center. So, you know, both uh, public as well as uh, private enterprise clouds, um, but also automobiles um, in healthcare in uh, industrial with robotics. Um, you know, there's just so many applications for AI and uh, AMD participates across the board. So we have the initiative called Pervasive AI and that's really talking about AI end to end. So from, you know, endpoint kind of devices to the edge and to the cloud. Is there one though that stands out as, as a really key market for you with a, a big opportunity in, in the near term future? Well, certainly in the data center, um, both in the training and an in inference with our MI instinct on training, these very large language models, um, and then also an in inference. Uh, MI gets used also for even inference on these very large models, but we just announced our uh, V70, Alveo V70 inference acceleration card um, that will be deployed in the, in the data center. Aside from that, I think, you know, automotive, uh, you know, as that gets moving towards higher levels, advanced driver assist systems to full autonomy, um, as well as other immersive experiences within the automobile that's using multiple AIs. So how do AMD's AI offerings uh, compare to what others are doing in the competitive landscape? I think we really have a unique um, offering in the sense that, you know, we cover both training and inference and the inference architecture that we've just integrated just recently in one of our Ryzen uh, mobile laptop CPUs, that's an architecture that scales all the way from things like a laptop or a notebook to an edge server and all the way to the cloud. Um, and that's also the same kind of IP that we use in embedded applications like automobiles, like in healthcare, like in robotics. So I think that's really unique that we can go end to end, not only in the context of computing, but in the context of embedded markets. And also speaking of competition, how is AMD viewing the China market with a lot of Chinese companies now uh, with their own graphics processing and AI initiative due to being blocked uh, from the US technology? Is there a concern about awaking a, a sleeping dragon in China or how is AMD thinking about that? Look, I, I think we really focus um, you know, on us innovating, you know, we're maniacally focused on innovation and in execution. So we deliver the highest performing and today also sustainable uh, computing for our customers, right? And so China, you know, in terms of competition, you know, competition makes you better. Once again, we focus on what we're doing and I think we've proven that we've uh, delivered really innovative solutions across a very broad, the broadest product portfolio, I think. Uh, from a market perspective, it's still a very important market for us. Um, of course, you know we uh, you know follow all the regulations and, and rules, but I think that uh, you know we stay focused on our innovation and we serve our customers around the world. Right, and you mentioned AI being a key strategic pillar for the company. So how does that fit in with all of AMD's strategic initiatives for 2023? Yeah, it's, it's a very important part. And I think, again, you, you just uh, fairly recently we introduced uh, the XDNA, this IP that came originally from Xilinx into uh, our Ryzen laptop. You're going to see more integration of some of the IP related to uh, AI across the product portfolio. We've also announced our leadership MI300 uh, product uh, for the largest kinds of language model processing. So again, you're going to see across the board um, AI enablement in our product stack, and that's going to go across the board in terms of the markets that we play in. 
And from an investor standpoint, how should investors be thinking about AMD's AI business? I think you, the investors should look at this as we're in it for the long term. You know, as big as AI is today, it's still in the early stages and we're going to be a very significant player, not only again in traditional computing kinds of uh, environments and gaming for that matter, but also in, in these broad embedded markets. And, you know, some of these markets take some longer time to get going, but then they tend to be very sticky and they're very long lived kind of engagements. Um, and, you know, we're deeply committed to working with our customers across all these markets. What would you say is your top priority for the year? Well, I guess my two top priorities are, of, of course, continuing to execute on, in the business that we have of today in these embedded markets, right? And it's growing importance, I think, uh, not only for AMD, but in general in the industry. Um, but the other, you meant we've been talking a lot about AI. So I've got the, um, the responsibility to help drive the company's AI strategy and, uh, you know, working with my other colleagues um, in all the business units, you know, AI is a very top priority, uh, not only this year, but on an ongoing basis. Well, Victor, thank you so much for all that you shared with us today. It was great learning more about AMD's AI business. It's really been my pleasure, and thanks for having me. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you want to watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.